Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another session of Molex 3D's webinar series. The topic for today is going to be liquid silicone rubber, or LSR, uh, manufacturing and uh, simulations. Uh, your presenter today is Srikar Valuri. I am uh, the engineering manager at Molex 3D. Now, uh, I'll be talking about how Moldex 3D uh, simulation software as such can help evaluate LSR molding processes. So with that said, uh, I'm going to jump into the topic itself. So I'm going to cover briefly, uh, uh, give you some background information for those who are not very familiar about what is LSR as such and what are the advantages of uh, molding with LSR, followed by uh, some simulation capabilities, what you are looking for when you're simulating an LSR molding process. So uh, what is uh, LSR? What is uh, silicone rubber? And uh, uh, you know what sort of uh, points need to be considered when you talk about uh, LSR molding? So liquid silicone rubber, or LSR, is, uh, has been around basically for uh, quite a few years, but uh, off late, there has been, again, more focus being placed on uh, LSR molding, especially in uh, industries such as uh, medical sectors, um, electronics applications, consumer products, etc. cetera. Um, and yes, uh, industries like auto and aerospace have also had uh, interest in this, in this material. So why LSR? What are the advantages uh, you get from LSR as such? Uh, one of the main things is uh, chemical and temperature resistance, uh, given how this, is, uh, this material uh, behaves. It provides good resistance, and, uh, and also it has uh, good mechanical properties, durability, um, not to mention it is very good. Uh, it acts uh, very well wherever uh, insulation is needed. So these are uh, a love for a lot of uh, applications. Now, uh, when you talk about uh, solid silicone rubber um, or high temperature vulcanizing HTV process, uh, you know, uh, earlier the processes, there were only two main processes that, that, that were uh, either molding, uh, either compression molding or extrusion for molding uh, this material. Uh, when it comes to compression molding, there are a few uh, disadvantages. Uh, some of them have, are listed on this slide, such as uh, you know excessive flash or too much material being wasted, uh, secondary finishing being required, which uh, adds to your operational costs, uh, defect rates are high, etc. And uh, when it comes to extrusion, some of the drawbacks uh, or limitations are that uh, your overall cross-section has the same thickness. Um, and uh, varying thicknesses is not really easy with extrusion. 